Ayo, duckies! Andy Lippy here. I was creating an update to my Minim Alert package. You can get it from streamup.tips, link below. I wanted to add audio to it, but have the audio play inside of OBS so the user has the choice to turn it off and modify it. The only thing was I wanted the sound to move from the left speaker to the right speaker and vice versa. This would just create a much better sound space on my stream. So I went to the one and only Mighty Exceldro or like, Almighty Exceldro, please bring audio pan into move transition. You will save the OBS kingdom and all of its population. Yeah, the rest is history. Here's the OBS move transition plugins update version 2.7.1. Put your argument in the stone. There are a few things that have been added to this OBS Move Transition update. You can download it from the OBS forum page just here. It's available for Windows, Mac and Linux. I'd recommend being an absolute gem and leaving Exceldro a cheeky review. It only takes a second. It will help negate these one star reviews that ask for technical support. That's not a review, Ducky. That's you being a dum-dum. <laughs> Once downloaded, run through the installer and Bob's your uncle. Before we get into how to make our streaming sound space awesome, we need to make our overlay awesome. We can do that with today's video sponsor, Owned TV. Owned TV is the one-stop shop of a streamer's dream. You can completely upgrade your stream with their professional looking overlays and alert packages. You can even get yourself brand new emotes, bit badges, sub badges, and even create your own custom ones with their custom creator. They also offer so much more. You definitely need to take a look for yourself. And if you see something you want, just crack in my code Andy50 at checkout to save yourself a whopping 50%. Thank you, Own TV, for sponsoring this portion of the video. So down to the nitty gritty. First up, imagine you're streaming and you're using the Move Transition plugin to move your camera around. Wouldn't it be cool if it played a swish sound effect or something like that? And depending where it is on the screen, the soundtrack transitions from one side of the screen to the other. See duckies, I'm telling you right now, it's all about attention to detail. I'll use a blank OBS here with just my cam on, but you can easily tie this into your existing setup. I'll set up a simple move source filter to move my webcam from one side to the other and back. On my scene, I'll right click and select filters. Press the plus sign, choose move source, give it a name. Since my cam is already on the left, I will call it move left. Make sure the correct source is selected, choose how long you want it to take to move and also its easing type. I'm going to set 2000 milliseconds and leave the rest default. It should automatically have the current position, but if not, just hit get transform. Now we need to right click the filter and duplicate it so it has the same settings. Just call this move right. Now move the cam to where we want it on the right. I'll use the handy shift plus arrow keys to move 10 pixels at a time so it's in the right place. Once happy, press get transform on the move right filter. Now when we press the I to toggle each filter on, the cam will move. Now for the fun part. I'll find some royalty free sound effects and search for a whoosh sound. There are loads of different websites that you can find. I found a sound I like, so I will download it and save it somewhere safe on my PC. Jump back into OBS, add a new source, choose media, give it a name, I'll use whoosh SFX. Press browse, then navigate to where you stored the file. Make sure your settings are like mine. You can select close file when inactive if you're trying to save resources on your PC, but it can cause a delay on when the sound is triggered. Press OK. With the sound source selected, press filters, press the plus sign under effect filters, add a move value filter, give it a name like right to left. Under move value type, select single setting. Under setting, choose source balance, then set the value to 0%. I will also match the duration we set earlier, which was 2000 milliseconds. Now, when this filter is activated, we won't see much happen. But if I play the sound effect, you will hear is coming out of the left speaker. Now we can do the exact same but for the right. So I'll right click the filter we made and duplicate it. Call it left to right, then just change the value to 100%. Now when this is activated, it will make the audio come out of the right side channel too. If you go to your advanced audio properties, you'll be able to see the pan happening visually. Now to put these together. Right click your scene, then press filters, add a new filter and select move source. I'll call it move left audio. 
Select the wash source. We can turn custom duration and transform off. Go down to media and press start action and select restart. At the bottom, select simultaneous move and choose right to left. Now, when we activate this filter, it will turn the audio on and also pan it left. We want it to move at the same time though. So select the move left filter and at the bottom where it says simultaneous move, select the move left audio filter. Now the camera will move and the audio too. As we did before, right click the filter we just made and duplicate it, but change left to right now. Leave all the settings the same, just change the simultaneous move to the left to right audio filter. Then select the move right filter, and at the bottom, select move right audio filter as the simultaneous action. Now we can activate that move left and move right filters to make the cam move with audio. You can always tweak the durations and also the easing to get the exact sound you want. Go on, drop a cheeky thumbs up if you enjoyed that and if it helps you with your need for attention to detail. Oh well, if you just want to be nice and just support the channel, right? Next up in this update is the ability to match nested scenes. This is such a handy one for all you crazy cats out there that have literally all the scenes. Now, when inside of a move transition itself, we have a checkbox that says match nested scene. This should always be checked by default anyway. As an example, what this means is if scene one contains a nested scene that has a source A in it and scene two contains just source A in it, move transition will match those two sources together, even though technically they aren't the same source. So to demonstrate this, I have my webcam scene that just has my webcam in it. I can now create a scene called scene one. And in this scene, I will add the webcam source and put it into a set position. Now I'll create scene two and this time add the actual webcam scene and put its position somewhere else. Now we just need to add a new transition and select move. Make sure the match nested scenes is selected. Now when I switch from scene one to scene two, the two different sources will be matched and moved to each other's position. This can be quite complicated to get your head around sometimes as there are so many seen this, seen that. But trust me, when it clicks, you'll be bang on. If it hasn't clicked, go check out some of my videos and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my streaming tips and tricks. I just want to take a second to thank everyone for supporting my content. I've recently just quit my job, so if you want to keep the channel alive, please smash that like button and leave me a comment, duckies, and consider joining the channel memberships below or Coffee and Patreon from £1 a month. It will help a truck ton. Extra special thanks to Armed Gamer, Auditive Modality, Bongo, Fever Team, and Marcus Vasquez for being top of the top. Click here if you want to learn more about the Move Transition plugin and here if you want to see where I used to work, why I left, and what is coming up on the channel in the future. Cheers, duckies. I'll catch you over there. Put your rocket for the stone.